Welcome, 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 welcome to Big Red Leads. I'm Big Red, getting you and your business back to the black. Today, 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 what are we talking about today? Now, before we jump into this, let's put all the negative energy over here because we're going to talk about some negative and positive energy and what it means and how it relates to your everyday being and how you need to read the opposite of what you like. This is simply more along the lines of understanding the information that you get. So, when you were an adolescent, a teenager, what were some of the biggest things that you, like, really, really sought out? I want you to really think about that. Now, take that, and what did that develop into as you matured, and the things that you liked were the things that you focused on, and the things that kept you motivated in your learning, Was it all fun? Did you enjoy every little detail of every book that you read, every comic book that you looked at, every magazine that you read, every article that came along with the subject matter that you enjoyed? Now understand, no one is picking at you. No one's picking on you. No one's picking at, picking apart the issues that come with that. But, in this particular case, I want you to think about the things that you did not read that was on the opposite side of the spectrum of the subject matter that you enjoy. The opposite side, flip side of the coin. So, I'll, gi I'll give you an example. Um, my mother is a super Christian. Proud of it. No knock on her. I love her for it. Makes her a better person. I'm all for it. But if you were to speak to her about the devil, she knows nothing about the devil. Now, I'm not saying that that's bringing negative energy towards her, but you do need to know the other side of the spectrum. Okay, why was, at one point, Lucifer, the enlightened one, was one of God's closest pe people? We're not talking religion. I'm just simply, I want you to think about that. A lot of Christians will not talk about the devil, nor do they know anything about the devil. Now, I'm pretty sure my mother's knowledge goes further than that. But what I'm simply getting at is most folks will not read, let's say, a book on, let's say, Nelson Mandela or Martin Luther King. Even better example. They won't read about Martin or they'll read about Martin, love everything Martin did, but they won't read anything about Hitler. If you are just stuck on the things that you admire, understand you are going to be stuck in a place of just simply desiring things. This goes back to an old adage, you need to know both sides of the, both sides of the coin so that you can present your own perspective and your own debate, your own argument, if the subject matter were to arise. Now, is it just good to watch nothing but winners or support nothing but winners? Or do you need to learn from losers? People who lost in the, in the, in the clutch moments, who just, the success was right outside their grasp. They failed and failed and failed. You need to learn from them too. If you go following every guru out here who quote unquote did not go through severe failure and all they did was win and all you see is the wins, all you get a you get a dopamine hit of from the wins from their Instagram, their social media and things of that nature. Where's the balance? Because I guarantee you, behind the scenes, they failed quite a bit. They had to go through some adversity. So speaking negatively, or speaking on the other side of what's most desired, 
leads to arguments, breakups, breakups of friendships. Oh, I can't be around that person. They thought they think and talk like this. But yet, these are the same people who claim to be independent thinkers. How can you be an independent thinker if you only speak from one side of the argument? Can you speak from both sides of the argument and then present your own? I want you to really think about that the next time you are speaking to someone and they speak on one side of an issue. What happens? To most of us, to most of us, we get attached to what we like. So we're willing to go to war for what we like. We're willing to fight for what we like. We're willing to debate others that we do not know for what we like. What about the things that you don't know? Most people, if they don't know nothing about it, they come up with their own assumptions that is based on nothing. And that leaves you in a space of lack. This also stems back to once most people leave, leave school, their curve, their learning curve, flattens out. The American public reads at a fourth grade level. What's the last book you read since you left school? Whether that be grammar school, high school, community college, four-year university, law school, whatever. When was the last book that you read that was non-fiction? The learning curve flattens out because you have, you know what you like, this is where you are and things that fall into that category, into that space, you're attracted to that. These are the things that are on the same frequency that you are, because that's what you're, that's what this, that's one of the laws, it's the law of vibration. You're vibrating at this level, and people are attracted to you, people just come up and talk to you that you don't know, because they're running on the same frequency, the same energy. It's like, when the news when the news or you see on social media something tragic's happened and there's a video of it there are a lot of people who won't turn it on because they don't want that image that imagery in their forefront they don't want it in a lot of ways what i would say i mean these these apps that run that run and let these these violent acts and traumatic acts happen and run on their platforms they're doing a real disservice to the people who are watching them. Because I guarantee you, most young people, that they, they see violence on these apps all the time. And it's no big thing. Not realizing, once that has, something really traumatic and violent has seeped into your psyche. It's there. And it doesn't go away. Now, I'm not saying that people don't see things in their real life, but understand, there are certain things that most folks will never see. Graphic, violent acts, and things like that. They won't see that type of stuff. So what does that mean for us? The person who's actually on the path of growth and trying to get better and learning and keeping their their learning curve in an upward trajectory what does that mean for us we can't allow the negative things in no we can allow them in but we cannot get attached to them because that's what happens in society the energies get connected to you and next thing you know they're stuck on you you can't get rid of it you see something happening traumatic to a friend of yours or or a loved one something really really awful happens to them and that image you cannot get out of your mind Soldiers who come back from war and they've seen traumatic things. They cannot get some of those images and things that have happened. And they really don't have anyone to talk to. So it turns out to be something else. And then it gets diagnosed into something else. All I'm simply saying is, 
learn from both sides of the coin so that you can present yourself and put yourself in the best the best the best position to maneuver any way that is needed for your own personal growth and development when we when we let things traumatic happen to us and we let things just slide because you don't want to hear about it because you don't like it is not is not a legitimate reason not to grow and learn there's a difference between something traumatic and something bad happening to you or you just don't like the subject matter now i know this ain't the most positive video in the world but i really think it is because i think i think you need to take a real real examination of what's going on around you and the people who are around you if that's the type of things that they're into why are they into that one it's not healthy two it's not healthy for you I don't know my friends I don't know a lot of this stuff is pretty basic but even with that being said either you weren't taught the basics or you had to go back and learn the basics and relearn and unlearn some of the things that you grew up with that were simply normalized because there's nothing normal about trauma but understand just because you don't like something don't make that normal either learn about the opposite side of the spectrum so that you can present yourself and be neutral then come up with your own ideas I know this message will help somebody love you all have a great day my friends this is Big Red with Big Red Leads Peace.